Okay. Rainy day outside, so we're working inside now. Okay, from here to here is roughly four foot. From the floor to there, three foot. This is what we call a towel warmer. Now, I've done a couple of jobs through my career in the building business. I actually buy these daggum towel warmers worth about three or four thousand dollars. Ah, that's crazy. Let me show y'all how it's done. <laughs> For a hell of a lot cheaper. Excuse my language. Anyway, they're making too much money. That's just the way I see it. I basically took a T, cut it, solder it. None of this is soldered yet, but anyway, getting there. Took a piece here. The reason why I put a T, cut it so that the water can still flow without having to put plugs and all that mess. Simple little stand. Screw it to the concrete about three inches off the wall or whatever. This will be going through the wall right now. It's just sitting like that. But anyway, it's gonna go through the wall, outside, through the wall, outside. You got your in valve, just in case you don't wanna heat up the room or your towels. <laughs> the idea was to heat up the bathroom. I don't have central heat and air in my little pool house that I have. So, I thought, hey, cool. Why not, right? I got a boiler. So now I'm heating my pool. I'm going to be heating my hot water heater. Heat exchanger just sitting there. No air involved or nothing. It's just, you know, heat rises. The water flow is going to go across here, up here, down. I got one of those T's cut in half down here. T cut in half, ton in half, just for humor or good measure to hold it together right. Water, uh, T again, 90, T again. Across here, 90, T, T, just to make it look decent. Make sure you measure your stuff right. Otherwise, it's going to come out all crooked. Uh, anyway, I'm in a cabinet business, so we're pretty... Yeah, if you're down to the 16th, you're in pretty good shape. Anyway, 90, out. Isn't that great? Huh. Simple idea. I was scratching my head there for a while as to how to do this, but there it is. See how nice that is? Clean. I'm going to be able to paint that whatever color I want to paint it after the fact. It's got to be cleaned up, primered, painted. Mounted, hooked up to the boiler, done. If I don't want hot water in the bathroom, this is for the bathroom, if I don't want it to heat up the bathroom, well, just simply turn the valve off. I was thinking about temperature gauges automatically done. Ah, look, get off the couch and turn the dead gum valve off. How about that? Man, and when people wonder why they get fat. Come on, no offense to nobody. It's just a little bit of humor that I... I'm pretty hardcore about it, but anyway, efforts are always a good thing. I just love that thing. Man, I'm going to say it again. Who don't like it?